Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Emma, if you don't know me, and I make crochet tutorials here on YouTube. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing because I release um, content every week-ish, uh, like tutorials and stuff. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. So today we're gonna be doing this like crochet skirt. It's like really basic, just the general skirt shape. So if you guys wanna like kind of do your own thing after that, please feel free, but I'm gonna give you the absolute basics. It is literally the easiest thing ever. And if you make it, please remember to send me a picture. I'll put my Instagram right here. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you in the voiceover. Bye. Hi guys, so for this project we're going to need a 4mm hook, we're going to need scissors, a few stitch markers and a tape measure and a tapestry needle as well just to weave in the ends. Um, and we're also going to need 5 balls or 250 grams of yarn and colours epic cotton iron yarn in the colour satay or whatever colour you want to get it in. There's the information there on the back if you want to have a look. And yeah, so for my skirt, I uh, so my waist is 30 inches um, all around. So that is going to be the size of my skirt. Like it's going to have a 30 inch waist. Um, and that's what I'm going to be making in the video. But if your size differs to mine, um, feel free to take your own measurement and use that instead. Um, because that is absolutely fine. Um, so to begin... We are always going to start off with our slip knot um, and I'm going to show you here but if you are unsure of how to do a slip knot or any of the basic stitches please feel free to check out my crochet 101 video where I go through everything uh, there. So now that we have our slip knot created we're just going to pull it down and we are going to insert our hook and basically what we're going to do to start off this skirt is we are going to create a 30 inch long double crochet foundation chain. So to do that we are going to start by chaining four. So we're going to wrap the yarn around our hook and pull it through the space to create our first chain. Then we're going to wrap the yarn around our hook, pull it through, wrap it around, pull it through. I'm going to do that one more time to create four chains there, okay? So you can see that there's four chains on our hook. So to start off, our first kind of step is we are going to yarn over and we are going to insert our hook into the very first chain that we created. So as you can see here, we're going to have two loops kind of on the top and we're going to have one at the bottom there. Um, so you can see there, there's two kind of lines at the top and there's gonna be one at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. So there are three loops on our hook, okay? So now we're gonna yarn over again and we're gonna pull through one. So we're gonna pull through that first loop and we still have three loops on our hook. Now we're gonna yarn over again and pull through two. And now we're gonna yarn over again and we're gonna pull through two. Okay, and now you can see we have like kind of two double crochets just kind of there. Um, but what we're gonna do next is kind of gonna make it make more sense. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna look at kind of the bottom and we're gonna see that there's like a V created right there. So where my fingers are. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna insert our hook into where that like V is on the bottom. Can you see that? So there's two lines and you can kind of see if I turn it around and there's going to be kind of two lines there at the bottom and you're going to insert your hook into that V and you're going to pull up a loop. There's three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through the first loop. We're going to yarn over again and we're going to pull through two. And we're going to yarn over again and we're going to pull through two. Okay, and then that is your third double crochet basically and you can see if you pull it apart you can kind of see the chain starting to form there and um, so we're going to do that again we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into so we're going to turn it over look at the bottom see that v created there we're going to insert our hook into that v getting those two loops onto our hook so yarn over insert your hook like so and we're going to pull up a loop three loops on our hook. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through just one. And now we're going to yarn over again. And we're going to pull through two. And we're going to do that one more time. We're going to yarn over again. And we're going to pull through two. And that is your fourth double crochet. Like so. And, the, and we're just going to keep doing this. 
So yarning over, inserting our hook into the bottom where that V is, on the very bottom we're going to yarn over and we are going to pull up a loop if we can get it through, yes we can, and then we're going to yarn over, pull through one, and then we're going to yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two. And that's kind of basically all you do for however long you want it to be for your waist. So mine is 30 inches, so I'm just going to keep doing this until I get to 30 inches. Um, the reason why we actually do a foundation double crochet chain instead of just a normal chain is because if you do a normal chain, like it's so tight, like I don't know like what it is about it, but like it has no stretch at all. But if you do this, it does have a lot of stretch because it is simply a double crochet. So um, it is so handy and so necessary if you're thinking of doing a skirt. So that is the reason why we're doing it. So yeah, do this for 30 inches. Oh my God, here we go. Okay, 30 inches done. And that is what it's going to look like. So very nice. And now what we're going to have to do is we have to attach them. So we're going to have to attach the two ends together so that we have kind of like a circle uh, shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into, you know, that bottom V like we normally do. And we're going to pull up a loop like so. Okay. And then we're going to stop. And then we're going to stop. So there's three loops on our hook. And we're just going to leave them there. So now we're going to grab the other end of our um, chain. And we are going to like place it on top of um, where we just were. So we're going to like line them up like that. You can see what I'm doing there. We're just going to line them up like so. Okay, so we still have three loops on our hook. Okay. And what we are going to do is we are going to insert our hook into like that very, um, like the space beside where the knot is on the other kind of end. You can see there, there's like a little space. So insert your hook into that space there. Okay. And we are going to slip stitch. Okay. So we're going to slip stitch into this. I'll show you how you do it now. So what we're going to do is we are going to pull up a loop, bring it up. And we are going to bring that loop through the second loop on our hook into a slip stitch, okay? And we still have three loops on our hook, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to flip that around. You can kind of see what's going on. So the bottom parts of our two ends of the chains are like connected. So all that we're going to do now is we are going to yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to yarn over, pull through two to finish off that last uh, double crochet. And now all that we're going to do is attach the two sides together. So all that we're going to do is we are going to count three from the bottom. So count three chains from the bottom. We're going to insert our hook into that third chain. We are going to pull up a loop and we are going to complete a slip stitch by pulling that first loop through the second loop there, okay? And then that is how we are going to attach um, the two ends of the chains together. So that is it. Um, we are all attached and we can start thinking about um, actually making our skirt. So you are going to have that little like um, knot there at the top, but once you weave that in, it's pretty unnoticeable. Um, like that if you kind of pull it it doesn't really look like crazy or anything um, so yeah so now we can start on our um, actual skirt so to start off we are going to grab two stitch markers okay and we are going to place that knot right in the middle okay and like the knot is going to help you know where the middle of your skirt is okay so make sure that is laying flat in the middle and that's going to be the back of your skirt obviously um, and so you're going to grab your stitch markers and you are going to place your stitch markers on the edges of your um, circle, basically. So on either side, on the left and on the right, you are going to place your stitch markers on your skirt. You can see what I'm doing here. Um, it's kind of hard to explain in words, but you, you can see what I'm doing. Um, so just placing them on either side, like so, like this. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to pick our work back up and we are going to start on our rounds. So we are going, this 
essentially just a double crochet skirt. So we're going to start off by chaining three and we are going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into the second space from our chain like so and we're going to pull up a loop, three loops on our hook there, we're going to yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two in a completely normal double crochet, okay? And that's what it's going to look like there. And so we are going to continue normally double crocheting all the way around until we get to our stitch marker. So I'm going to show you a few more times how to double crochet. So to double crochet, all that you do is you yarn over, insert your hook. You're going to pull up a loop like so, three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two and we're going to yarn over and pull through two. And that's your simple, simple double crochet. So again, we're going to go all the way down um, or around even. We're going to go all the way around until we reach our first stitch marker. And then I will show you what we are going to do. So I have reached um, the stitch marker or the corresponding stitch to the stitch marker. You know what I mean? Um, so we have reached the stitch that is basically in line with our stitch marker. And all that we're going to do is we are going to place two double crochets into the exact same space. Okay, so that's our first double crochet. And then this is our second double crochet into the same space. And that is your first increase, okay? So two double crochets into one space that equals to one increase. So what we're going to do after that is we are going to completely normal double crochet into every single stitch um, until we reach the next stitch marker, okay? So just completely normal double crochets until you reach the next stitch marker. Okay, so here I am with the next stitch marker. And all that we're going to do, exact same thing again, we are going to yarn over and place two double crochets into the exact same space to create one increase. So there's my first double crochet and then here is my second double crochet. Okay, so there you go. So that's two double crochets in the same space. And that is our second increase of the row. So now we're just going to continue just completely normal double crocheting until we get back to the middle. Um, so there's the middle there. We're just going to keep going until we reach there again. So here we are. I'm back at the middle. And all that I'm going to do now is I'm going to count one, two, three, four from the bottom. And I'm going to insert my hook into the fourth um, chain from the bottom. And I'm going to slip stitch into this into this space here okay so just pulling it right through into a slip stitch and there you go that's everything attached in a very neat and gorge way so now so that's our second row basically and now what we're going to do is we are going to chain three again so we're going to chain one two and three to start off our third row and what we're going to do is we are going to yarn over And we are going to skip that first space there. We're going to skip that and we're going to go into the second space just there. And we are going to complete our double crochet. And all the rows from here on out kind of repeat this exact same um, thing. So you do completely normal double crochet and then you do the increase on the stitch marker, normal around, and then you increase on the second stitch marker. And then, and then you go back to the middle and you repeat it all. So you're going to repeat this for um, a total of 21 rows, we've already done two, so you only have 19 left to go from here, um, or to the total of, so the whole thing will equal 11 inches, okay? Um, and so here's me just showing you, this is my third round, I'm just increasing there at the stitch marker, um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep showing you a few more times um, just so you can get the hang of it. But yeah, you basically just do this for 19 more rows or for a total of 21 rows or 11 inches um, long. And if your, if your kind of hip to waist ratio is like bigger than mine, um, then I would suggest maybe adding in like, like four increases per row rather than just two of what I'm doing here but it's kind of up to you like you'll kind of know like if you keep trying it on as you're going you'll kind of be able to figure it out like you'll know if you need more if you need less you know if you need 
you know, no increases at all, perhaps, so, you know, kind of just depends on what your waist to hip ratio is. Um, and here's me just finishing off that row there, okay? So just going into the fourth chain from the bottom um, and slip stitching in here and just pulling it through like so. And that's my third row completed. And yeah, so you just keep going around and around and around for, um, you know, until you reach the length of 11 inches um, and keep increasing, keep doing your two increases. And yeah, that is, that is it. And then I will come back to you once we have finished those 11 inches or those t that uh, 21 rows. Okay, so here we are at the end of our 21 rows or at the um, end of our 11 inches. So you can see here that um, the whole thing equals to 11 inches. And yeah, so that's what it looks like there. You can kind of see the way it goes out on the sides. Um, and yeah, so all that we're going to do now is we are going to do nine rounds or four inches of just completely normal double crochet okay and I'm not going to walk you through it because we that's what we have been doing you're going to do the exact same thing as before but all that we're going to do differently is we are just not going to increase okay so it is the exact same thing I have every faith you guys can do it it's the exact same thing it's just not no increases it's just completely normal all the way around one double crochet into every stitch um, and you're going to do that for a total of four inches or for a total of nine rows, okay? Um, so yeah, that is literally it. Um, and that is how we're going to finish off the skirt, okay? So that's what it looks like when it's done. Um, so yeah, that's literally it. Um, that is it when it's finished. Please feel free, like if you want to do like a round of single crochet at the end, you can do that, defo. Um, and if you come this far, you know that there is a seam at the end, um, but it is a very nice seam. It's a very straight seam. Um, so I find no issue with this seam. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do like the belt portion or the little like waist tie thing. Um, so how you're going to do that is basically you're just going to create um, a slip knot like so. Very normal. Sorry, I did that wrong and I'm doing it again. Here we go. So there's our slip knot. And all that we're going to do is we are going to create a chain that is 50 inches long. Okay, so my waist was 30 inches and so I'm creating a chain that is 20 inches more than what my waist was. So yeah, whatever your waist measurement was, we are going to create a chain that is that plus 20 extra inches, okay? So here is me, just I'm doing this massive big long chain um, of you know, of 50 inches. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip stitch all the way back down the chain once we're done. So what I've done here is I'm just inserting my hook into that last chain that we created. I'm gonna pull up a loop and I am going to pull that first loop on my hook through the second loop to create a slip stitch. So you're just gonna go into the chain that was right beside your hook to start off this row. And then following on from that, you're just gonna go into every single stitch along the way and you are just going to put a slip stitch into every single chain. So to slip stitch, again, you just insert your hook, you pull up a loop like so, you have two loops on your hook and then you pull that first loop through the second loop to create a slip stitch. And again, you're just gonna do this all the way down your very, very long chain um, until you reach the end of the chain. So I'm gonna continue and maybe show you one more um, or maybe I don't. I don't. I can't remember. I don't think I do. But anyway, that's what it's. That's what it's going to look like in the end. There you go. So it's going to just be a big long. And you know, this slip stitch is just going to give it that extra bit of strength. You know what I mean? Um. And so here's me at the end of the big long chain. Um. And all that we do is we're just going to finish off. We're just going to chain one. And we're gonna cut off the end. Like that. And we're gonna pull it tight, like so. 
and what we're going to do now so with these two kind of loose ends all that we're going to do is we are going to just weave them back into the chain so you're just going to put your hook into just like a random space in the chain and um, just stick it in like that and you're just going to pull up you're not going to pull up a loop but you're just going to pull the yarn through basically just like that um, and you're going to do that like maybe like two or three times and yeah you just do that as many you can honestly do it as many times as you want um but yeah i only did that maybe like three times i think and then once you get kind of to this stage you just kind of like snip it off so just cut off that loose end there like so and then you're just going to do the exact same thing for the other side so just grab your yarn and just stick your hook in and just pull your yarn through like that to create just a nice clean edge on that end of your chain so there's me doing it maybe like three times and I just cut off that loose end and so now what we're going to do is we're going to have to weave in that belt into the uh, skirt so I'm just going to grab a stitch marker and I'm just going to put it right in the middle of our skirt so I'm going to line it up with the kind of middle seam so this is on the front now mind you okay so this is on the front so what we're going to do is we are going to put um a stitch marker onto the end of our chain you can see what i did there and we're just going to weave it through um we're just going to weave it through the top of the skirt so i'm just pull like pulling it from front to back and then i'm going to skip one stitch and then i'm going from back to front so just weaving it in like like so just pulling it through as I go so but the most important thing is here is just every time you do you're going to skip one stitch so as you can see here I'm just going to skip that next stitch I'm going to skip that one and I'm going to insert into the next one and then I'm going to go from front to back and then I'm going to go skip stitch and then I'm going to go from back to front and um, just in a really like simple weaving motion um, and I'm going to do that all the way around the skirt until I reach the top again or the top, the beginning, until I reach where the beginning is. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's literally you just go all the way around, put one uh stitch just in between your weaving motion, um. Because like if you don't skip a stitch, then you know it might get like too congested, like, you know what I mean? Because the belt does have a bit of weight to it. It's not super skinny, so it would just become too like bulky if you didn't skip that stitch so anyway that's it when it's done and then you have um your kind of loose ends there you can kind of tie into a knot if you want to i would suggest doing it though because it might look silly if they're just hanging down so yeah that's kind of it that is that is literally how i make my skirt every single time and i've made many skirts you can like kind of see them all on my instagram i make them all in the same way um and yeah so here's my skirt here it is. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I hope you guys try out the skirt as well um, and let me know how you get on. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you um, want to see more from me and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!